naitwa Maurice Otieno Were na napatikana along Gong Road Rescos kwa kazi nafanya jua kali na na mimi utengeneza wanyama a mimi deal na mandege sana sana based na Tausi Kanga na zile ndogo ndogo tu hiyo juzi nilianza 2010 ambapo imekuwa ni strive for the rate na nika learn more about art the more naifanya the more nazidi ku advance same na technology the more wana improvise vitu zinaanza ku grow pia hii kazi pia na challenge ni mob sana so ndahitaji vitu kama materials kama mabati chuma wire rods rangi varnish at least ku maintain hii vitu ai lazima nitumie kwa picha kuangalia kama hii ni picha mtumia picha na ni observe for almost an hour ndo nichukue kila kila dimension yake kila kitu kuanzia kichwa miguu kila kitu tengeneza ndege kata housing ina nichukua kama 4 days kusikia kwanza nitaanza na framework sikia pili nikate kate mabati pieces niki, nikipima alafu baadaye ni chome kwa hiyo hali ya kuchoma nikishamaliza sikia tatu tuseme taingia kupiga grinder alafu baadaye niweke varnish ku maintain ndo is rust alafu baadaye ndo tukuja nipake rangi <laughs> sije ni ite science ama nini but lazima kuna hii chuma inaitwa steel steel ni ile chuma ngumu high twist vile so nikichomele inakuwa ni stable haitawai bend um, pia sana sana si utumie ma pieces tunaenda kuangalia kwa scrap at least zile wanataka ku recycle ndo tunazichukua tunanunua kwa scrap tunapimiwa tunanunua tunakuja ndo tunakatakata tunachoma yeah. kwa hardware mostly ni costly na uwezi jua hii art utakaa na hii art utachoma hii mnyama na challenges ni ujui mteja atakuja lini unaweza kaa hata na 2 years alafu baadaye uzee mnyama yeah cuz mostly watu tuna depend on ni watu kama tourist na hotelizi kubwa kubwa kama state houses hizo wanyama unaona hapo nje na nikitu mtu ana buy once with time ujui tena kaa atakuitisha tulienda course lakini ilikuwa wanyama ndogo ndogo but with time tunapata un the mona grow na we pia unajipata una na ujuzi fulani. Yeah. Si rahisi. Asiweka display but mostly kuna watu tuletea order with time. Cuz unapata mtu anataka apeleke kama 20 ngambo auze, mwingine aweke kwa hoteli yake nje. Ah uh, butterflies. Ndili kama kuna hii idea siku na do. So nikaangalia ntanzia wapi? Siwezi save ya kutosha ndo nianze kutengeneza zile kubwa juzi na ni cost. So ilibaki nianze from the small lazima uanzie chini ukienda juu. Kitu kaniambia anzia wadudu wadogo wadogo. So ukianza na wadudu wadogo wadogo the more ina peak ni una rise ukienda wanyama wakubwa kubwa. Ningependa kuambia vijana mostly mjua kuna watu wana talent lakini bado yeye huaga aja discover kwa nayo so ni mwenyewe aanze ku explore na jiamini atakuja kuwa ku make it inajita a new metal sculptures sculptures ni jina ya mabati yani tunachukua mabati tunakata tuna mold kwa kugonga inaitwa ku mold ndio tuna design inatoka hivi ya tofauti iko mbali sana like ya matope ndio itakaa ita but not for long with time hata mtu akigonga mawe ita crack na yanguke na kwa hii tunaunda ini quality ni kitu ita maintain more than 100 years as long as una una maintain na rangi tu ni kitu utakuwa unarudia yeah so ini kitu quality na kaa sana na ni maridadi na ni light sika mawe ni permanent mimi uchukua sand paper kwanza napiga grinder alafu napitisha sandpaper at least iwe soft cuz najua matourists tupenda wakiona kitu poa wanatamani ku touch yani wana feel wanaona hiyo ni hiyo so after kupiga grinder mimi upiga sandpaper iwe smooth so after kupiga sandpaper iwe smooth na mix colors na rangi 
naweza kupaka pole pole rangi na baki na nua kidogo kidogo na kwa ile siwezi nua naweza nua rangi ka tatu na nataka rangi kama sita inabaki ni mix ndio iniletea la ile nataka so tausi utapata iko na rangi kama sita saba iko na blue iko na black iko na white iko na brown iko na kama tano ile a zingine ndo nimeanza ku post uh, Facebook, Instagram na Twitter. Uh, Najita Morris Morris Were. Hiyo ndo zina natumika na kupata nayo market. At least client anazanipigia uko best wapi? Nimependa vitu zako ziko smart, ziko presentable. Naweza kam kupick sawa. Wana kam. Uh, for the start nimeanza tu hapa within cuz mostly unapata wale watu wanataka kuchukua kwa functions kama harusi at least kufaisha watu wanachukua wanaenda nayo wapige mapicha wanarudisha kwa kama ni wale wanataka kuhaya wanaweza haya waende nayo kwa function warudishe na kuna wale wananunua wanachukua waweke kwa hoteli kubwa kubwa at least ku fresha ma customers na hiyo attraction nilifikiria sana mostly ma tourist waga wanakuja na season so napata wenye tunabaki nao labda ni wa Afrika yet kwa ana wale wa understand what is that so unaweza muambia hii ndege inauza ngapi 5000 auliza baadaye ni ya nini but nilifikiria nikaweka bakuli at least hiyo ni flower pot cuz hizi mandege au weka karibu na maua so nikaona ah wacha ni ndele imebeba maua at least mtu anaweza enda mnayo pamoja at least aweke kwa maua karibu na maua zina, zitakuwa zina match yeah. uh, stima inabaki ni balance cause sometimes ika sile unaweza prepare kwa kukata kata kila kitu ndo uanze cause ni piece by piece uki, ukisha choma hii piece lazima uangalie hii piece next uneka aje na uwezi shindo kizima stima unafungua unazima una inabaki tu speed work yako na yeah pale na lazima tu pale na lazima tu ni sile naenda lunch peke yake ama sile na fikiria vile next part nitafanya nita sasa hii mandege ndo niliona nilikuja kuona competition iko among us mimi na makazi wangu wenye tunafanya hii industry ya wanyama so nikaona tumekuwa tukicheza circle the, the, the same animals like rhino elephant giraffe rhino elephant giraffe kitu ikaniambia pana ebu do something that our two are compete now so mimi nikaamua kufungua yangu nikaanza mandege mandege Shwali kwa watu wengi imewashinda. Na nimeangalia karibu Kenya mzima, hakuna mtu anafanya mandege. Eh, kila part carved inawashinda. So mimi nilipata tu nikafocus kwa hii mandege sasa. So najenga ma, matausi, kanga, crane, kila type ya ndege haiwezi nishinda. Eh, ndege zote natengeneza. Iwe kubwa tu dogo. Kuanzia ostrich mpaka hizo zingine ndogo. Ah, kwa saa hii nimejiandika iju with time na hope nitakuja ku employ vijana ni wahusishe kwa hii industry with time ni employ kama hata vijana kumi kulingana na ile kazi nitapata eh ningeomba sana watu kama gava ni support uh, my vision i would wish sana cuz ningekuwa nimetaka sana hii dream for long like nimekuwa nikiangalia kama 3 years to come 10 years to come miji na yangu ningependa ikuwe kwa Guinness Book World of Records hapo ndo ningependa kufika